Surfing. Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of Barachel, the Archangel, the Blessed by God Angel. No, not uh, Saturn. He's a false god. Does not have a false gods on God's days. Topic of the message. Um, congratulations, Golden State, for the broom thing. But I wish Boston was there to play the championship. I think it would have been more interesting. They they more better opponent than Cleveland. That's another message. Um. Well, topic of the message. What? Are, oh, okay. Well, I was talking about you know the body of Christ concerning. Is it a bad body, a good body? And I was talking about the body odor. You know what I'm saying? That are we putting out sweet smelling fragrance unto God or are we doing that stinky stuff? And of course the sweet smelling fragrance is if we're uh, you, uh, operating his love, the love of God and the joy of the Lord our strength and and you know the peace of past understanding in the faith if we are allowing that in our hearts that it will and we do these things that will produce a sweet sweet smelling fragrance or we doing the opposite the lust the sorrow the violence and anger and bitterness pretty much it's kind of like the whole ideal of that you know what i'm saying uh but I, I, interesting, I was, you know, getting, trying to look for a scripture for my 3H Nation crew to do. And I ran across this scripture of Romans 7, 25. And, you know, and I, 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 I like what this is saying because I was, I wanted to maybe do theirs, there is no, uh, condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I saw this is quite interesting of what it's saying. It's talking about laws. You know what I'm saying? And it says, I, I thank God through our Lord and Savior. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law. I serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. And of course, the topic of the message is called serving whose law is very important that we should make an evaluation concerning our performance as Christians if we are serving the correct law or not serving the correct law i mean of course the law of god is what as what paul is saying is the law of god that he is serving you know what i'm saying you know but that says but with the flesh but with the flesh this flesh is going to serve yes that's what yes the flesh is going to serve a law like you know of course as what paul is putting this said i like how paul is setting up romans 7 for romans 8 and it, you know concerning talking about the uh walking after the flesh and and walking after the spirit you know what i'm saying and the thing is we need to understand every influence influence like i tell people about the world system concerning its wicked too much wicked influence if influence is there to help you uh, create a law within your flesh. The, 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 the wickedness of this influence of this world is, to, is there to sit in your... Now, as it says, it says, the, so then with the mind, see, the mind is going to be thinking. The mind is going to be uh, meditating and con... con uh, concentrating on something that in that meditation and concentration a law will be developed you know what i'm saying that someone will say and you know it's interesting how people 
well, you know, go through something, go through something. Well, they say, well, for now on, I'm going to do this because of this happened and that happened. You know what I'm saying? That we always like do if, if a situation happened in our lives, whether it's good or whether it's bad, we're going to say something like, for now on, I'm going to do this. See, that is, you made a, you have a, developed a law when you say that, that people don't realize, you know, you know, like, you know, somebody mistreated you and did you wrong. For now on, I'm going to do this because of what the person did. You know what I'm saying? And even when somebody do treat you right, treated you good, for now on, I'm going to do that because of what that person did. Those ideas, when we say that, we are establishing a law. Now, the law based upon what is how that law is going to carry out. What is the basis of why you're going to do that? You know what I'm saying? It's how how committed are you going to be about it? And, and as it says, committed to the flesh or committed to the spirit. Because we can say somebody can treat do something right to us. He says, for now on, I'm going to do this for that person and still don't carry out that what you just said that you was going to do. Somehow that, you know, this fleshly body can be break the law for some apparent reason. You know? But, uh, you know, uh, that we can not carry out the very thing that we said that we were going to do. That, oh my goodness, this, uh, m many people are not carrying out well, what they say they're going to do, as what Jesus says, that people will honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from it. More likely, they can say that I'm going to serve you and their law, they, and they can speak from a fleshly perspective on that. Because that's why it's important to evaluate. That's why it's important to evaluate the heart. It's, it's, I, I understand what King Solomon says more and more. Each and every day, he says, keep thy heart with all diligence out of it, all the issues of life that we don't evaluate our hearts because our heart is going to, uh, we need to understand what's fueling our heart. And it goes back to the love and the lust, because if love is fueling our heart and we say for now on, we're going to do this, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do this driven by the love of God, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be driven by the love of God. But if we're in the flat, uh, lust is in our uh, 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 heart, we're going to be driven by that and we will unfortunately not fulfill the task that needs to be done concerning serving the law, serving the law of love. You know what I'm saying? Serve, you know, we need to understand, oh yeah, we need to understand that we need to be fueled by the Spirit. That's why, that's why I love about what Paul it's going to go to Romans 7 to Rome to 8. And 8, he's talking about how much the Spirit is supposed to play a great role if we're going to be on the agenda to full serve the law of God. You know what I'm saying? If we're going to be committed on this, not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit, there's no way in the flesh you could serve the law of God. I mean, on a consistent basis or what? It says to be committed to the Lord. You cannot in the flesh try to serve that law. It's what people are not aware of and many Christians are not aware of that ideal concerning when they say, oh, I'm going to go do this. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand or never uh, ask God to examine what's inside you. That's why you examine your heart. If you're in the faith, it says in 2 Corinthians 13 and 8, that we have to examine ourselves if we're in the faith. If, if faith is the uh, uh, power, strength that we are operating in to be committed to the law of God, of serving the laws of God. Now, key word that you need to understand is very important is serving, not working as the like people... Because here's the thing God taught me the difference between serving and working. Serving is an ideal, is supposed to be unto the person, but working is a performance, is about 
doing something and you're expecting something back. You know what I'm saying? You're expecting, you're doing it for the sake of expecting something back in return. But serving is about what is about what you totally do unto the master. You know what I'm saying? That a lot of people, unfortunately, do things for the sake of what's getting in return then more likely focus unto what's unto the master. I mean, but as far as Christians, we need to be about learning to serve because it is what unto the master because God is giving us this ability to, through his son, through his son, Jesus Christ. That's what Paul says. I thank God through Jesus Christ. Only through Jesus Christ, we are able to serve God. Oh, only through Christ Jesus we are able to do the law of God. We can, uh, you know, what I'm saying. And the thing is, we need to understand that 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 serving can only be the performance there. But we can't be about doing things based upon oh, I want to get this in return. Oh, I can't wait to, for him to give me in return. We can't do that for that motive. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I know people say, well. I did this. I know I'm going to get a blessing back. Yes, you will. But at the same time, we can't be about doing it for that motive. But our motive, it should be about trying to serve concerning the laws of God because what he has done for us and what he is continually doing for us. I mean, what God has done for us and what he's continually done for us. We we owe him all. That's what I love about the um, Lord's Prayer. You know what I'm saying? We're in debt of this great love of God. The Lord's Prayer, forgive us for our debts as we forgive uh, those that are in debt. We're indebted in our love towards God. You know what I'm saying? That we should be about serving and doing his law to give him in return what is he has already given us. It's the motivation of serving God. But I like what, see, as what Paul says in here, but with the flesh. See, with the flesh is me, me, me. I'm going to do it for me and what I can get concerning what I uh, think I deserve based upon who I, uh, what I am based upon the flesh, pretty much. It's this motivation that will lead us to, watch this, uh, consider the law of sin. Because what if he don't do this? What if he don't do this? What what if God doesn't do give you that blessing because you bless him? You did something for somebody and and you expected a blessing, but what if God doesn't give it to you? Well, it leaves us in a position of frustration and disappointment. Like, man, I thought he was gonna do something for me, God. And we can lean towards of doing the law, a law can develop and well because he did this to me i'm gonna do this L law of sin i'm gonna do something that and the ideal of sin means to separate you know what I'm saying to s sin separate us from god and the thing is we can meditate on the law not do it but meditate on the law but of course jesus says that if you sin in your thoughts in your heart you know it, you kind of did it pretty much but in our our we can because of what God did we didn't God didn't fulfill his end of the bargain that we look at it we will meditate on the law to do something wrong that will separate us from him that we need to be careful in our relationship that we are well who are we serving and whose law is all about you know what I'm saying that you got to be careful concerning cultivating a true relationship with God that this video is all about. All right, that's the message. I hope you got it. I hope you hear about serving the law of God as what Paul is, Romans uh, 7, 25, and be about it to the utmost way. And that's the message. God be glory to him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, Ashley. <laughs>